Activity 16 is showing us another way of presenting 3D data in 2D. And in this case, we're going to use the montage tool that we used earlier on to make our 2D panel. For this example, we're going to use the OMX 3D data.tiff. And again, I've made an RGB of the two channels here. So we've got green and red channels through 54 Z slices. Okay, so let's go through image, stacks, make montage again. Now, let's use the default settings here. Uh, if we click OK, and I make that a bit larger, hopefully you guys can see it's very difficult to see any of the data within that montage. So there's way too many panels going on, the lines between them are too thick. So let's go back and let's modify how we're presenting that data. Stick. Uh, make montage. In this case, let's not present all of the data, but let's show some representative slices through that 3D volume. So for this example, we're going to use uh, three columns and three rows. We're not going to downsample the data, so we can still see it at its highest resolution. We're going to use all of the slices, so 1 to 54 in our increment. We're going to set to 5, so we're only going to present every fifth image here. Order width, we can keep it 3. And now if I click OK, Hopefully you guys can see that that figure is a little bit less busy. Yes, we don't have all of the content, but it's a lot easier to decipher what's going on within that image. Again, we can save that out um, as a TIFF file for use for making a figure. 